Okay, so a few things with a dual flush here. You want to turn off your valve for your water. Uh, and we're going to take off the lid here. Set that aside. Alright, so we dump out whatever leftover water we got. So I got a couple parts here. This is the valve, or the plunger part, sorry. Plunger part, so when you flush, half flush, full flush, and then this is your valve. This is where the water comes through, and you can adjust the height here. A um, couple things. So down here, there is a, like a little, little clip. screwdriver to get down in there. So there's a little clip right down in there and it slides to lock, to unlock, you're gonna push it from here and move this direction here. So it's right inside there. Get a good view of that. Really hard. I'm using a screwdriver because I don't want to bust my finger now. Alright. So you can see the other side of the clip is on this side, and that's unlocked. And you can adjust the height of this whole assembly up and down like this, all right? This is for your water level. If you want more water coming through your toilet, go as high as you can. If you want less, you can go down lower, all right? All right, good. So this is your fine adjustment. This is the trap, the amount of travel your plunger is allowed to take. So for example, let's pull this up, this little housing around the plunger. Uh, float valve, float. So uh, right now I've got a kind of a small travel to it. If you want more travel, you can adjust uh, to one side or to the other to allow more. If it's not moving at all, in other words, if this does not go all the way down, you're not gonna get the water turned on. If it's all the way up, the water will be off. So you need some travel in there. So if you don't have enough travel, you can adjust this to make it work. If it's too much, you can make it, but this is more like fine tuning. So the idea is you want to adjust the height of this whole thing right here. So when the water comes up, you want it just right up below the overflow. You don't want to go on overflowing all the time. You're gonna waste the water. So for example, uh, I got the clip off. Let's turn on the valve. We'll fill it up. And we'll see how where it turns off. Hopefully it'll turn off before it comes up to the overflow. And the for some users, you want to maximize the amount of water coming through so you can get a good hard flush, a full flush. And let's see where we're at. All right, so it's just right below. This is what it looks like if I did it too much. All right. You can see the water starting to overflow inside that. You don't want that. You want that not to do that. So you want to adjust it below. Yeah, maybe you want it just right below. Um, that way you're maximizing your your the amount of water. All right, so we're gonna flush it and pour it too. It's tedious to watch that, but it's worth doing a shot. So we did a full flush on that one. right up to, oh, right on the lip. I don't know if I want it that close. Yeah, I got too much coming through, so I'm gonna drop it down a couple of notches. All right, I, I'm satisfied with that. So you play with that for a while, and then you gotta lock it back into place. See where my finger is down here? I'm gonna push that clip back into place. That's hard to see, but when it's all the way there, you can try it, you're like, okay. All right. <clears throat> now, another thing too, uh, that travel for that, uh, you need to adjust it so you got a little, a little bit of play in there. You don't want it so tight that it's not doing its job. All right, so plunger-wise, this one's kind of funky. It's not like the old ones. Um, <clears throat> it, it's easy to service. So the thing is, you can take it and you turn it counterclockwise. 
and kind of there's a spot in there where it will release for you. There we go. All right. We'll take that out. All right. Pretty easy. I'm going to put it in the sink. Let's turn off this water. Okay. Got the water off. All right. We're good. So you should be able to see all the way down to your bowl right here. If you get something obstructing it, you may see it right through there. Okay. And you see the residual water is going down. And what it does, it's supposed to come through. The water is supposed to shoot through here. And you'll get some through the top around the bowl, but most of it's right here. That's where you're going to get all the water that swishes through. If you got obstructions in there, calcium buildups and stuff, that's a problem with the flow. Um, and we'll get into that in just a bit. So the, it's easy to service the plunger. All right, a couple of things. Um, this is where. It seats against that opening, right? And what I found in mine, I had uh, calcium buildup. And with calcium buildup, it's not seating tight enough. So you can take your finger and run it across this this, uh, this rubber part right here and you feel anything rough, that's probably your calcium. I've got, I can feel calcium up here too. So yeah, I definitely got some calcium buildup there. So a fix on that, <clears throat> Um, I end up just getting CLR that's supposed to kill the calcium and lime and whatnot. I think you could do lime away, but I, I like this product better. All right, I put a little bit in the sink and then I'll just set it on top of there for a while, uh, let it do its thing. I'm sure it's going to loosen up some of that. All right. <clears throat> so uh, if I get calcium, it's more than likely I've got problems in the bowl too. So I can see down in the bowl, I'm just gonna take this stuff and I'm gonna put a little bit in here. Maybe a couple of cups. This will go down into the bowl. If you got an obstruction in there, it's a calcium buildup, it's gonna, it's gonna start uh, loosening that up and I'll get a brush. And this is where the plunger kind of sits, right along this edge right here. You wanna use your finger and feel and if there's calcium on there, that's probably keeping, uh, if you've got leaks through the plunger. Uh, and I'll just brush all that out real good, just to make sure that that CLR is doing its job and I've got it nice and smooth. I I, I think if you get calcium uh, from the top of the bowl down to the thing, it's gonna it's gonna be here where you wanna uh, put the CLR brush. Uh, maybe if you had a really small auger snake or you know a wire brush kind of thing you can run it through here and see if you can get it down to the bowl see if there's any obstruction but that's that's usually where you're going to get uh, a calcium build up all right so i'll let that do its thing all right back to this and i got my buddy over here he's always with me all right so Uh, so it's in there doing its stuff and so I'm going to run this brush on there I think you could probably leave it in there for five minutes if you've got a lot of calcium and work it but uh, I think I think for the last one I did uh, a couple minutes was enough and you could take your finger and run it and you could feel it if it's still there or not and just you know just clean that all up you don't need to get too crazy uh, along here on the edge is good because that you might get some hang-ups if you had a calcium buildup and whatnot and while you're at it you might as well do the whole assembly you've got some crazy stuff on there I guarantee it so all right we're almost done to move on to another another adjustment you can do with these things um, I think if, if you've got a constant leak, you know, a little drip or something like that, cleaning the calcium off and setting the level of your, your valve will be a big help right there. So let's just get all that off of there. All right. That gets really clean now. Nothing there. All right. 
Okay, on to uh, the. There's some more adjustments you can do for the uh, your half flush, full flush that this thing gives you, and it says pretty. And it's, you can almost see it through the light here. So your green or blue side, that's your half flush, and then the gray is your full flush. And you can down here, this will be the half flush size, and hopefully you can you can see an indicator. There's a minimum, and then there's a max, and this will be for that flush. The, if you want a bigger flush, you can adjust this down. If you want the least amount, you can go up. So I, I, I've got a lot of boys. I need to put it right there. Same thing for the full flush size. Oh wow. Okay. Around f it. It said I'm in for my full flush. Oh my goodness. I I, I can't have that. I I've got a house full of kids. So. <clears throat> I'm gonna max everything out. I'm I'm pretty sure if we've got problems with water, the amount of water in the in the in the bowl flushing through is not enough, and you're not getting a good hard flush. Um, this is gonna be another part of the the solution right here is to max these out. Okay. So I don't know what this is. I have no idea. I'll figure it out later. But uh, earlier runs with the other. Well, I was able to get great results by just changing these two down to to max, and hopefully you can see that, that max on that. And then having this cleaned off right here, that was a big deal for me. Uh, this is ready to go back in. A um, couple things to install it back in. You got these little I don't know what they are, just little tabs and stuff. This would be a lining up on back in the in the toilet, and I'll show you where that goes. So. All right, let me get my camera, uh, and then we'll get from there. <clears throat> All right, so you want your half flush on the left, full flush on the right. Uh, be aware of uh, this little tab right here. All right, you're gonna line it up down there. You'll find it, but it will not. You'll see the little notch in there. See it? Right there, the line, make sure it's seated, and give it a clockwise turn. I go all the way, as far as it goes. If you go too far, you might loosen things up you don't want to. So it, it, if you think uh, lining it like that is a good idea, I don't know if that's right, because it's not completely on there. So I've got, <clears throat> got it back on. Um, so let's see. Uh, I. I'm not sure about this. So I, I, I kind of want to do it where I've got more wiggle room there, where it's it's moving a little more. So I, I'm turning this counterclockwise. You should get a lot of movement out of that. And and this thing should be inside of this outside housing. If it's not, it's not going to work. All right. So uh, it looks like I'm all good. I'm going to turn on the valve. <laughs> Um, and I'm expecting it to hopefully stop before it goes to the overflow. And let's see. You know, if it takes forever to load uh, the fill, uh, that, that may be a problem with an obstruction here too, and you may need to replace that valve. So, um, all right. So it looks like we're good. Uh, we didn't do an overflow. I'm gonna. All right, that's how much water I got there. I'm gonna do the, the max flush. All right, ready? That's the results I'm looking for. That was a, a definite improvement from what it was set at last, because it was set at min, and we got it maximized. Uh, I'm gonna do it with a min. It, it, I mean, it's quite a bit. You can play with men, but the, I would suggest have the, your full flush maxed out. Uh, you really want to get the flow through in there and not leave any any debris to the, your plumbing in between. All right, so here we go. Uh, we'll do the other side. Yeah, that's almost like the, the full flush. I, I'll deal with that. I'm happy with that. So, all right, so. Um, back with the 
I'm gonna mount my camera again, so. All right. These little boogers, uh, again, this this is the set screw down here, this black part, and you want it tight in there, otherwise it's be floating. You could adjust this. Just make sure uh, that the, they're set to where, you know, they're they're barely gonna touch those buttons on the inside of the, with your plunger parts. Um, if they're too long, they're gonna actuate it or have it barely on. I, just, it, you'll figure it out. So just make sure these parts right here are tight, these set screws, they lock in. So you, they're not turning or anything. Free, so, uh, all right, <clears throat> me and my buddy are done. We got the results we want. Uh, hopefully, with the CLR and the adjustments, this will help you out. All right, thanks.